I am Moana of Montanui, and I thought it would be so fun if we could read a story together. How does that sound? Great. Well, today we are reading The Adventures of Bentley the Hippo. Can you guys point to Bentley the Hippo? Is he right here? Great job. Well, this story was written by Argiro Graffi and illustrated by Michael Reyes. Are we ready to read, friends? Great. It was morning. There was a loud knock on the front door. Peeking through the peephole, Bentley saw Jackson pacing back and forth. Bentley opened the door. Jackson was so excited he couldn't speak clearly. All Bentley could make out was ride, hurry, and long line up. Now, do you friends know what type of animal Jackson is? A monkey, that's right. Scratching his head, Bentley figured it was easier to go see what the fuss was about than trying to ask Jackson to repeat his words. They followed big arrows that took them down a long path and onto an open field. Can you friends tell me what color this arrow is? That's right, it's red. Well, it was very busy with people walking around eating ice cream, lots of different noises and big lineups. They walked to the open field. There was a huge lineup and Bentley saw Daisy the giraffe, Toby the elephant, and Marty the lion in the back of the line. Do you friends see our new animal friends? Do you see the giraffe and the elephant and the lion? Great job. What's going on? asked Bentley. There was an announcement. For today only, the blue rocket will be lifting off and it's supposed to be the ride of a lifetime, Marty explained. Jackson's eyes widened. That's what I was telling you earlier, he said to Bentley. Bentley thought for a moment. Hmm, let's all think together. Ready? One, two, three. Hmm, the ride of a lifetime. This has to be the reason so many children are lined up. And where did they get those ice cream cones from? Bentley, Jackson, and Daisy waited in line as Marty and Toby headed over to grab some ice cream cones for everyone. Isn't that so nice? They brought everyone ice cream. Do you friends have a favorite ice cream flavor? Really? That sounds delicious. They returned and joined the others. A few moments passed and Jackson grew impatient. He ran to the front of the line and tried to sneak in. He was sent back but he still couldn't stand still. He tried a second time and again was sent to the back of the line. Jumping up and down, trying to catch a glimpse of the front, he became frustrated. With every jump, he stomped harder and harder. At one point, the ground shook so much that everyone's ice cream fell to the ground. Sad faces looked at Jackson, but he was too frustrated to notice. He was still trying to find a way to get to the front. Do you friends see all their spilled ice cream? Oh. Would you be a little upset? I would be too. Bentley wasn't happy with Jackson's behavior and because he had lost his ice cream. If there's one thing that can make a happy hippo unhappy, it's taking away his ice cream. I'm so excited, Jackson cried. Bentley, Bentley, stop frowning. It's going to be so much fun. Stop it, Bentley told him, just stand still. But I'm excited, Jackson argued. We all are but we aren't jumping around and trying to push in. Well, sometimes Pua gets a little too excited and jumps around just like Jackson. Just then, the ticket agent walked over and warned them to settle down or they wouldn't be allowed on the ride. Can you friends point to the ticket agent? Is it here? No, that's Bentley. How about him? Great job. Jackson heaved a big sigh. <sighs> And then the ticket agent returned to the front. Bentley knew that Jackson sometimes got excited and struggled to stand still, and his actions weren't intentional. Bentley didn't want to miss out on the trip, though. He took a deep breath. He would have to practice being patient, too. Jackson, it's unfair to try to jump to the front of the line, Bentley began to explain. I know, Jackson replied. And jumping up and down affects others around you. Then you started arguing, which is not cool. Especially as you know, it's important to be kind. You need to be patient. Let's see. Bentley could see Jackson did appear to be sorry, but he wasn't sure what being patient meant. Do you friends know what it means to be patient? 
Well, being patient is when you have to remain calm, even when you're excited. When you are feeling impatient, there are things you can do to help, like distracting your attention to others and talking to them. You like talking, don't you? Well, I love talking, personally. Or you can play a game like I Spy or take a deep breath to calm down. Or how about this? Look up at the clouds. Can you see what shapes they are? Everyone looked up at the clouds and called out the shapes they could see in the clouds. A circle, a triangle, a bunny. You know, me and Pua love to go cloud watching. It's such a fun game. You should definitely try it at home. Bentley told everyone about how much he loved space. And before they knew it, they were at the front of the line. How exciting. I see you all behaved as I asked you to, said the ticket agent. Jackson quickly nodded. And then the agent handed them the tickets. Do your friends see the tickets? They're kind of small. Are they right here? Great job. They looked at the tickets, then at each other, then at the tickets again with huge grins on their faces. Follow me, said the ticket agent. They were led around the corner and there it was, the big blue rocket. Only it wasn't a rocket at all. They were confused. But where's the blue rocket? Asked Jackson. What do you think happened to the rocket? I guess we'll find out. The ticket agent pointed to a sign that read, here, let's read it together. Fly high on the blue rocket. Bentley's friends looked at him. They knew he must be disappointed as this didn't look like it was going to be a trip to the moon. This was a giant hot air balloon. Do hot air balloons go to the moon? No, maybe one day. Bentley shrugged, looked at Marty, and then the excited Jackson, and said, well, it's not a rocket ship, but it is really, really cool. Let's go on it for a ride. Would you friends ever get in a hot air balloon? I'm a little afraid of heights, but I'm sure I could brave up and get on one, maybe with Pua or Hey Hey. Jackson stepped forward, looked over at the others, and then asked, who wants to go on first? Once they were all in, the balloon lifted off, heading high into the sky. Everyone had a wonderful time. They looked down at all the children below. They looked like tiny little dots. I'm sure everything looks really small from up there. The ride, this ride is awesome, said Toby. Bentley smiled at his friends. This isn't what I expected, but today Jackson learned about being patient. And if he hadn't knocked on my door, we would never have come up this high. This is the highest I've ever been and the closest I've ever been to space. And I'm really happy that you're all here with me. They looked at Jackson, who was in his own space, reaching out trying to grab some clouds. And they all laughed, including Jackson. I think that's the end of my story, friends. Well, thank you so much for reading with me. Can I get a really big V end? Ready? One, two, three. The end. Thank you so much, and I hope to read again with you soon. Bye-bye.